All right, welcome to the Once Upon a Time in Huntsville podcast, hosted by yours truly, Sam the Baronaga. My co-host today is the beautiful, the intelligent, the charming, the, uh, I don't know what else you'd call him. What, do you, what would you call yourself? Mastermind. <laughs> Today, I have a very special guest, Woody Luttrell, or Woodrow Luttrell, uh, who I had the honor of working with on a project we're both very excited about called 12 Mighty Orphans, and in the film, Woodrow plays a young man named Leon Pickett. Uh, Woody, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing all right, man. How, how do you like Alabama so far? Man, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Oh yeah, it's all right. How's the drive coming in? Pretty good. Didn't fall asleep? No. You know, only for about an hour, but no one <laughs> died, so we're good. Yeah, I remember uh whenever we were in Texas and we had like those weekends or whatever. Uh I think uh I can't remember who said it exactly. It might have been like Slade or Preston. They're like, "Are you going to go back to Alabama this weekend?" I was like, do they not realize how far away it is? It's, it's a long drive. It's 12 hours. <laughs> so I'm glad that now you understand. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was an eight-hour drive at first, and then I finally looked it up, and it was 11 hours and 42 minutes. Yeah, and I rounded to 12. That makes it sound more extreme. Uh, 12, 12 <laughs> hours. 12 hours. Uh, so today I thought uh, it would be really interesting and fun for the viewers to hear about uh, your audition experience, my audition experience, like combined, and uh, some of the, I guess, talk about some of the behind the scenes stuff on 12 Mighty Orphans uh, without delving into something that could uh, get us into trouble. <laughs> cancel. Yeah, cancel. Yeah, we don't want to do that uh, for spoiling the film. But, uh, spoiler alert, we're all orphans. <laughs> um, what do you, you said something uh, yesterday in the car when we were driving back home from my parents' place. You said, uh, I got so into the role, I just forgot about my family. <laughs> yeah, you're an orphan, so I just cut off yeah, all you, yeah. communication to my parents. Yeah. And we still don't talk today, but. I heard Christian Bell did that for the, uh, the, uh, the Dark Knight trilogy, which we actually just watched. We did. So Woody comes, uh, he, he gets into my apartment. What was that, Monday night? Monday, Monday night, and we we were looking through my movies, and I was like, man, we got to watch some movies. And I was like, we should watch some Christopher Nolan films, because I just did that podcast uh, like the day before about them. And you were like, yeah, I haven't seen any of his films before. I was like, but you've seen like the Dark Knight trilogy, right? And you're like, no, I haven't. And I was just like, what in the heck? Yeah, and you just got done showing me the trailer for the new one. Yeah, the the, the brand new, uh, with the Robert Pattinson Batman, which oh, I think looks pretty good. Um, so we watched those, so we'll have to talk about those, but first let's stay, uh, let's stay on topic for the 12 Mighty Orphans, uh, audition. I know you just practically told all my, like, told all this stuff to my parents last night, because they were all asking, but act like you've never been asked it before. Uh, this is good practice for, like, Fallon, too. Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, if the movie does well enough, maybe we'll all get to go. <laughs> maybe so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I remember the first day that we were there, uh, no, the first night we were there, before we started, like, training for the film, we were all going to meet at Chili's. Did you go to that? No, it was Applebee's. No, Applebee's. Applebee's. Did you go? It was yeah. like me, what? you, Bailey, Manny, and Tyler. It was I, like only a couple of us. Oh, then I came the second night we went oh, to okay, Applebee's. Oh, okay, the second night. But anyways, on the way there, Bailey was like, do you think we'll be on Fallon? I was like, dude, I, like, that'd be amazing. But like, hold on, we haven't even shot anything yet. Well, every, time, every time I think about that, because when Ridiculous 6 came out, with Adam, oh, Sandler. Adam Sandler, yeah. I remember seeing them on some late night talk show, and yeah. that just stays in my head. I'm like, well, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, maybe we'll get to do that. Uh, Go out there in our old old suits. Maybe Martin and Luke will. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even though I mean we we're in the title. Yeah, no. Uh, but um, anyways. So, how how did you find out about the audition? Tell the viewers. Alrighty, so uh, first thing off, I want to say I actually did not stop talking to my parents. I did talk to them, I promise. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, sorry, that was, yeah, we were being sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, my buddy's mom, Grant, Grant's mom, she sent Shout me, out to Grant and his mom. Shout out to Grant and his mom, awesome people. She sent me uh, a message on Messenger on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And it was of the 12 Mighty orphan, Orphans 
open casting call in Weatherford, Texas. And she sent it to me and said, Grant's going to this. Um, would you like to go? Uh-huh. So I mess- had, had Grant been an actor or mm, was- no? Oh, he was, so he was just doing it for fun so, too. Yeah, we were just doing it for fun, and I text Grant. I was like, "Hey, man, are you going to this?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm going." So we meet up that I think it's like a Saturday or something. We uh-huh. meet up, we go, and uh, we're there for like. It felt like forever. We were there yeah. a couple hours, and how many people were there? A lot, a lot, a yeah. lot of people. Yeah, and you know, we get there, we walk in. They are looking us up and down, saying what characters we mm-hmm. they thought we'd fit best. Yeah. So they give us our auditions. I think Grant got uh, Weedy, okay, and I did Snogs. Oh, you did Snogs, okay. Yeah. So we auditioned for the. Well, they sent us out. Mm-hmm. And they're like, come back at this time. We come back at that time. We're still, you know, we've been practicing our piece of, like our Yeah, your script. sides. Yeah. yeah. And so we come back, and they make us wait a couple more hours. Uh-huh. And then they finally set us down in front of the camera. And I ran through the lines, improv a little bit. Were you nervous? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's still like, you know, right then and there, we're just, I was just doing it for fun. Yeah. You know. So, the lady act like she liked what I did, but she's like, we'll call you in two months. Yeah. All right, this is at the end of my senior year, so it's like I didn't know what I was going to do after school. I didn't think I wanted to go to college, so uh-huh. a buddy of mine, Bryson, he said, hey, man, if you're not going to college, come up to Alaska with me and Trey. Uh-huh. I was like, all right, and they had graduated with my sister, and so... It was like, if the movie people didn't call me back, I was going to go to Alaska. And they never called me back within that two months. You know, I was like, well, I guess that's the plan, you know. I'll be all right. So uh, we fly up to Alaska. Mm-hmm. And this whole time I'm trying to get on with this hunting guide service up in Alaska. And that doesn't work out. So I think it was like August, around the beginning of August. Yeah. And we had gone up there at the beginning of June. I uh, call or didn't call, but the hunting guy never got back with me, so I bought my plane ticket back home. Mm-hmm. I think like two days later, I get a call. Hey, this is so and so from Twelve Mighty Orphans. We liked what you did in the audition. We were wondering <laughs> if you could come back to this audition that we're <laughs> doing again. I was just thinking like, oh, thanks for calling. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. So they you just uh, can't even probably believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they uh You'd probably forgotten about it. I did. Yeah. I honestly, cuz before I went up to Alaska, I was answering every phone call and every phone call that I'd answered before then was where with the car insurance. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like one of those Or please do not hang up the phone. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. like, well, guess what? I'm hanging up. But yeah. no, where's like, your mom? I'm trying to Yeah, get my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, your mom's the best. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, so uh they uh like the so and so twelve mighty orphans asked me, you know, if I'd come back. I was like, Well, I'm in Alaska. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing up there? I was like, Y'all didn't call me. <laughs> but and then I was like, But don't worry, I'm coming back this day and they're like, Well, that's the day we need you back. I oh, mean, wow. it just worked out like yeah, amazing. Dude, yeah, God's timing. Oh yeah. It's like, you know, you want a good like testimony there you go yeah I'm like, man that's awesome so, so and then this was for the football practice right where they wanted to see if we could like be physical and this was before that oh so I, they oh so they had to, they they had you do another audition prior to that oh okay yeah, I so did tell like, me how that went so i get there right off the plane too and on the plane i don't even i might have told you this my tooth was hurting okay and i get back off the plane and i uh my tooth's just agonizing, but I've got to go to the audition right uh-huh. off the plane. Yeah. I go to the audition. Ty's there. And I don't think that I just got done, like, cutting fish in yeah. two months in these clothes. No matter how much I wash them, they're still going to be a fishy smell. <laughs> and, but I walked in there smelling like fish. Uh-huh. And they act like they liked what I did, yeah. you know. And so did I... Did you read for Leon that time, or was that still... Yeah, I read for Leon, okay, that, Leon time. that time. And so I uh, I uh, left, and the next day, mm-hmm. the second day I'm back, I go and have a root canal done. Oof. Yeah, so that was, I was like, man, 
I had to go in there smelling like I didn't think I smelled like fish, but at the, you know, I went in there smelling like fish with a hurt tooth. You know, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get this. Yeah. And I think I went to one more callback, and then I went to that football. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Then you, you went to that one. Yeah, and that's when. Can I stop you right there? Yeah. That way, I can, so I'm a, sorry. I'm a, no, no, no. You're good. I want to share like up until for me, anyways. That well, that way we can like match it or whatever. So, I and I um. I had a self tape audition for it for it was like late February or mid February or maybe even early March. Um, and it was one of those where uh, it was, it was like a super busy week and I was working at Publix at the time and I got it and it was like, it's due ASAP or something like that. Like I had to do it like in one day or something like that. And so I begged Jesse, my brother, who you met yesterday, I was like, can you please take me uh, for this audition real fast? Because i got to go to work in an hour. And so, you know, that means I have to leave in like 30 minutes. So we taped it, and then I sent it in. And I actually read for Fairbanks. I read the scene, um, well, I'm not going to say what scene, <laughs> but I read a certain scene, and it was like three scenes, three scenes. Um, one was with a coach, and then one was with like all you guys. And... Then I sent off tape. I taped it and then I sent it off, and I like legit forgot about it within an hour or whatever. I just didn't even think about it. Sounds like you had to do it pretty fast. Yeah, and then like months like fly by because later in August, I I was leaving work. I was in a period of my life where I was just like stressed out. Like I hadn't booked anything in a while, um, in a couple months. Um, and so I was like, you know, that I mean that just happens to any actor. You're just in like a you're in a slog for a while and I was leaving work, and I was just exhausted, and I got a phone call from my agent, and she, like, rarely ever calls me. She's, like, always emailing me or texting me. This was, like, the first time she actually, like, called me, and I was like, oh, wow, like, I wonder what's up. And she called me and was like, do you remember that, like, football thing you auditioned for? And I was like, uh, no, ma'am, I don't. I'm sorry. She was like, it's called 12 Mighty Orphans? And I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. She's like, well, you auditioned for it back in February, and they, you just got a call back for it. I was like, for real? She's like, I just, I'm going to email you all the information. So she sends me the information. And in it, it said, um, and this was for the football practice. She said, they want you to go out there and they want you to read for um, Fairbanks again. And then they also are looking at some other roles that they want you to read for, but they hadn't told me yet. And so, um, and and they were like, oh, and by and she said, oh, by the way, you have to be there in two days. Like it's in two days. And I was working that day. And so, um, uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, and also the email was like, they also want to like, make sure you know how to like throw the ball and stuff. So in my mind, I was like, Oh shoot. Am I like auditioning for like the quarterback or something that I didn't know what that meant necessarily. So, um, I get back home. I tell my parents what's up. And they were like, well, can you get off work? I tried to get off work, and they were like, well, sorry, Sample, like, no one's going to be able to cover for you. So I was like, dang, like, but I have to go to this like, audition. Because I went back, and I found on my uh, Actors Access account, I saw it was like a SAG film. I saw who was producing it. Like, and I was like, oh, I was like, this is like a real movie. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I was yeah. like, dang. So I was like, yeah, I have to go to this. So my manager, thankfully, was like, listen, we can't get anyone to cover you, but just, like, don't come in. You should go. And I was like, oh, like, thank you so much. Oh, That's so blessing. cool. And um, so my dad was like, well, I'll go with you because, you know, I haven't been to Texas in a long time, and I can take you and drop you off, and I'll go, like, to a museum and stuff. So I was like, oh, thank you, because he knew it was 12 hours away, and he probably knew that I couldn't drive there and then go and do this thing. So we actually left the next day, got a hotel there. That way we wouldn't be too exhausted. Yeah. And then... um. The Clarion. Uh, no, no, not the Clarion. <laughs> not yet. But, um, uh, and then that morning we go up to the football field, and I'll stop right there and let you keep telling, telling the story. No, so, man. So when you got there, like, because we used, like, a really nice private school, high school private school's um, football field. Yes, it was really nice. It was turf grass. Um. And Coach TJ was there that first day. Yeah, Coach TJ well, Lane was Lane there. Lane was there, yes. And who else was there? Josh. 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 He, yeah, 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 yeah. Josh. So, so what was your experience like for the football practice? How did you feel it went for you? The football practice, I think it went pretty well. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I wasn't no grade A football player in high school, so I didn't know how it was going to go. I couldn't catch the ball that well. And yeah. for some reason that day I was able to catch them and run the right routes, uh-huh. and I was just like, holy cow. Yeah. Why couldn't I have done this in school? I you know? know, right? <laughs> the, I just remembered this. But you remember at the end of the practice that day when we broke out, uh-huh. Lane was like, break it out, Leon. Yeah. And I broke it out. And that's when I was like, kind of like, I was like, I remember that. I was like, I was like, holy cow! I might actually, I might actually be able to get this. Yeah, and I just remembered that. I was like, holy cow, that's crazy. That was like, that was so awesome. So I remember, oh, on the way there to Texas, like since I knew it was based off a book, like I bought it on my phone and I started reading it on my phone while while I was there because I was like, dang, like I'm gonna be behind. Like all these Texas guys have already probably read it and stuff. <laughs> so I'm like, on the way, I read it and I like. I like went over because they still hadn't told me what the other characters were. So I was thinking through the point of view of Fairbanks. I was like, like, oh, well, he looking for if it said if you ran a specific way, if you caught the football a specific way just for the football practice. Because I didn't know if like the director was going to be there and like being watching for that or whatever. But I remember getting there. And before we started, uh, Lane was like, so who's raise your hand if if you've read 12 Mighty Orphans. And I like right. I was the only one to raise my yeah, hand. Yeah, I still I, I was like, I was like, dang, like, I thought everyone, but everyone had knew, known the story, but I was like, well, I'm just like, so I was like, okay, I can use this to my advantage, I guess, kind of, um, and then we started, I remember we did, we mainly did, like, a lot of, like, running routes, we did that, like, thing where we shuffled our feet and, like, yeah. had to run a couple, uh, like, uh, suicides, we did suicides, and there were a lot of guys there. Uh, yeah, there was. And there were some pretty athletic guys there, too, that were pretty – like, there was one guy that was there that was, like, the starting quarterback of the varsity football team. There at the that? school, the private school. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was auditioning just because, like, uh, I don't know – we could, I'm probably I mean, just because of his skill set. Yeah. I, was, I remember talking to his mom after, and she was like, he's never done this before. He's not an actor. You know, and she was really nice. But um, uh, I remember, like – listening to like just music before going in just kind of get in the zone and I essentially i told myself kind of like just like kind of let god just take over your body oh yeah like, whatever happens will happen and like i and i just ended up having a great time like coach tj throwing to us and stuff and uh, i remember do you remember bailey like led the stretch yeah bailey led the stretch bailey was first in line yeah which bailey ended up getting a part for, yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. yeah he worked his tail off at that workout he was really good and then i remember we started doing like some tackling drills and then like one of the uh a producer came up and was like yeah you guys can't be doing oh that. yeah they were they're getting mad <laughs> we no we're just yeah. doing what we're told yeah. it wasn't like real tackling it was like light tackling but yeah. we, so i guess somebody could have got hurt and then, um, do you remember that, like, last um, Coach TJ threw us, like, a go route or something? And so uh, I remember we were going, or he was like, you guys have to catch this or whatever. And so far I hadn't dropped a ball yet. And I remember, like, running, and I, I guess I ran too fast, and he, like, underthrew it. And I remember, like, freaking out. And I, like, dove, and I, like, skinned the mess out of my shin. Like, it was oh, all bleeding and stuff. Oh, we all, like, remember? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you know, you fin. Yeah. No, no. I'll tell this one here in a little oh, bit. So. And I remember like skinning it. And I dropped the ball or whatever, and I was like, "Dang it! Like, I better, I better not like, you know, miss out because of that or whatever." I was like so mad at myself or whatever because I because I I didn't catch it in time. And then I remember like one of the producers came up and was like, "Oh, let's get that fixed up." And I was kind of just mad. I was like, "Nah, I'm good. Like, I'm fine." Or whatever. Get off me! <laughs> <laughs> no, TJ was super cool because oh, he, he was like man. so nice to all of us. Yeah. Like. Even when he d- he didn't know who had it, but he was still was treating us like we all had the part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, oh, and then so or what? What, what were you gonna say about? I was just gonna here? say you got skid up. Like, yeah. Remember when uh, like well, Manny? Yeah. I guess Manny had to go into the go to the doctor because he had yeah. it all skid up. Was it on his back or his? I think it's side. side back. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. And so they were like, stop laying out for passes. <laughs> and we had to move to the soccer field. That's right. right across, yeah, yeah, because yeah. it wasn't turf. That's right. Yeah. And we did like all those drills where we had flags on. Do you remember that? We like had to practice like duking yeah. people out and stuff. That was so much fun. But uh, so after my after that practice that we had that very first time before we had the rules, I had to go over to the production office because they're like, well, you have to go over to the production office and uh read for the two other parts which i still didn't know yet i was like i can't remember if i it was no 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 so i think i'm trying to remember who told me to go over there 
maybe maybe it was like Crystal or something. Someone was at the football field and told me that I need to go to the production office. So they send me the address, and then as I'm going over there, they send me the sides, and it was for they said here are the sides for chicken. And so I still didn't know who the other person I was reading for or whatever. And so I didn't have a printer. So I, like I showed you the other day, I like started writing down my lines on a scrap piece of paper or whatever. And I started memorizing them. And then I got to the production office. And one of the women there, they were like, uh, who are you? And I was like, I'm auditioning for chicken. And she like she was, prob- was kind of sketched out because like, I'm bleeding off of my <laughs> leg. And I'm like all sweaty and stuff. And she was like, oh, uh, okay, you can wait in like the snack room. So I went. And I had, they had like a platter of sandwiches and I was like, well, shoot, I mean, there's a lot left over. So I ate a sandwich real fast. <laughs> Five star water. treatment. Yeah. No, I don't know if I was allowed to or not. And then Houston came back. He was like, oh, like, come here. And we sat down at a table or whatever. And then he was like, uh, he was like, so Ty, Ty and, uh, you know, Ann Hill, uh, yep. Houston's wife. Yeah. They were like, they were supposed to be here by now, but they're actually talking to a big person right now. And he was like, it's for uh, the role of Doc. He was like, we have like a big person, like we just they're having lunch with him or whatever. And at that time, I had no idea who he was talking about, no but clue. it would eventually be no, 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 uh, Martin Sheen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For said, oh, I thought yeah. he said Luke. I said no clue. Oh, I thought he said Luke. <laughs> no, no, no. So I was that. like, oh, that's awesome. Like no problem. I'll wait as long as I want. So he was like, uh, can you actually go to um, the apartments that we're staying in and read? And it was his apartment, and then, or it might have been Ty's. It was one of their apartments. So I was like, okay. So I went out with my dad. I, we got the address. We went over there, walked up there, and then uh, they sat us down, or they sat me down. Anne had her phone, her iPhone, because they didn't have a camera. And then Ty was like, uh, let's read for chicken. So I did chicken once, and then he had me do it another time, a different way. And he was like, okay, good. And I was like, what was that other guy you wanted me to audition for? He was like, he was like, ah, uh, well, it's like, it's uh, the part of Weedy, but uh, it's like a really dramatic scene, and you haven't practiced it yet. And I was like, no, 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 please, like, please, please let me audition <laughs> for this part. And so, like, I sat down with him. We like read, essentially read through it together or whatever, and it, like, and and got really close with like the iPhone and stuff. And then um, I'm trying to remember the other part. Oh, they also had me read for Leon there too. I, and then after that, they were like, oh, can you read for this role? I was like, yeah. And then I walked out, and I was like, man, like. Like, I really, really, really want to get another callback or whatever. And so, um, which would, the next one would be the chemistry callback. So do you remember, did they call you for that or? Yeah, I think, uh, I think her name was Sarah. Sarah called me back. Oh, Sarah Dowling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or it might have been, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because she was the casting director. Or she was the local casting director. All right, yeah, yeah, yep. Then it was her. I'm doing a lot of name dropping, but yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she called me back. And told me to come back, and I was just like, "Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. I'll be there." I yeah. Mean, just got back from Alaska. I didn't have a job, and I wasn't taking any. Of so why not? Yeah. Yeah. And at that thing is that chemistry read. I told uh-huh. I asked Ty. I was like, "Hey, man, uh, I'm not getting a job right now because of I like want this. Like, I didn't really say I want this part, but I kind of like." Hinted that I wanted it. Yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. I'm not getting a job right now because I want to be open for y'all. And he's That's like, awesome. He's like, and I asked him, I was like, do I need to know anything or do I need to get a job? And he was like, no, man, I want you part of this. Oh, that's so cool. And like, I just walked away. I was like, I don't want to get my hopes up. But yeah. he just did tell me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you should have had it recorded just in case. Yeah, I just had it recorded. Blackmail. But I remember getting to that chemistry read or uh, and – it was kind of like once all the guys got in there and you had – we all of us were in there because they did it in certain rounds or whatever. There were like four rounds throughout the day. And we – were you part of the first group? The first? I think you were. Yeah, I, I think, think you so. were. And so they did like – they were doing the first ones for like the role of Hardy. And uh, some of the guys auditioned for that by themselves. And then we all went in as groups later. But I, I, I don't know. I hope you feel the same way, but – it was kind of like all the like all of us were sitting down and the ones that were talking to each other and like laughing and like just making jokes and not being really competitive about it were all the ones that ended up getting the role. Like it was like we all clicked instantly. Like, yeah, like was, it, it was like you you were sitting to the left of me and then Preston and Bailey were sitting right there and then Manny and Tyler were to the side and then Michael's like sitting down on the floor 
And then I'm trying to remember, Austin was there too. And we were all just like laughing, just like having a good time. And then like some of the other guys, other actors were like in the corners, like going over their lines, which there's nothing wrong with that. No, no, But for no. like a chemistry read, it's like, you just need to kind of have fun. Yeah, you need to have fun. Like there was two kids there that showed up with their mom and I'm not going to like say anything about them except <laughs> no, I, for they went straight to the other, they went to another room and sat on a staircase. Yeah. And I actually went and like introduced myself to them just cause I was like, I, they could book it. And then I'm working with them for two months and they were kind of like kind of rude. They were, they were like kind of, I mean, they were kind of, they might've been in their own zone or whatever. And maybe it was rude f- for me to like go over there, but they didn't look like they wanted to be there. <laughs> yeah. They didn't want to look like they wanted to be there. And then there were some other actors there. We're not going to say that were, well, one of those actors that uh, you know you uh, <laughs> he had to, he auditioned for Fairbanks that day and I, I had did. to go in and read his Hardy uh-huh because uh, he walked out and was like they want you to come in here and read and I get in there and Ty was like you're not getting this part like the part I was Hardy uh-huh. he was just like I want you to read for him that way he has something to go off of oh okay and it was one of those guys that you know <laughs> that was not the kindest you know oh he was really okay. boastful about himself and yeah yeah, uh, I read for him, and when I was reading for him, I was like, man, is everybody like this? <laughs> no, man, I no. I was like, man, manners, please. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I yeah, I, there's just some guys, not only in our industry, but just in any yeah, industry any that just industry. need some maturing to do. Oh. But, uh, but I was so happy when, because I got the call the next day. And like mid afternoon, that like I booked it or whatever, and I was like, yes, yes. But the thing was, like, I was really praying that, like, all the guys that I liked would end up booking it, too. And I was, like, I remember Manny, like, DM'd me, like, the next day. He was, like, hey, man, like, I booked the role. I, f- I found out you did, too. And he was being super nice. I was, like, that's good because I liked him. And then um, I was really hoping uh, Preston and you would get the role. And then you guys did. And I was, like, yes. It's all, it's all like, coming together. Yeah. The only rules that I we didn't know about yet were Hardy – Fairbanks and Snogs until we like got there. Yeah. Um, but I just remember that chemistry just being like so much fun. Oh like, yeah, it was really enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the birth of just like a group, obviously. Oh yeah. yeah it was yeah. like a family, man. Like, yeah, for real. We all like it was like instant click. Yeah, yeah. Even with uh Jacob, Levi, and Jake. Oh yeah, as soon as we met them, I remember like kind of being nervous because uh, I knew that they were all three, um, or no, no, just Levi and Jake had lived in L.A. Yeah. And Jacob, but he he had done a lot of stuff. Yeah, he had like done. they all three had done stuff, like a lot of stuff. And so I was kind of nervous. I was like, man, I hope they're as cool as like the other guys. And I remember we all just sat outside that hotel and talked for like for two hours. And we they were just, and they were just like the most easy going guys, super humble, super nice, kind yeah. guys. And Jake, uh, like, did it through, like, a Skype meeting. I don't, did. I don't remember I how Jacob or Levi did it, but they, he, like, because it was last minute they cast him or something. Yeah, and Jake and Levi said by each other on the plane, and they were like, That's are right. you doing 12 Mighty Orphans? And he was like, yeah. yeah. I just thought that was the coolest thing. That's so cool. That's so cool. But um, that's, I think it's so cool that, um, because you and Preston had never acted before. No. I just think that's so cool that, like they just saw the talent and like trusted that you guys. I'm would so be able happy to take they care. did. Yeah, man. it was like because, um, like I, I was telling your dad last night, I had done stuff in FFA, mm-hmm. like where, which I like, we had to do uh, where I was a farmer and I was like read my script mm-hmm. and like that's the only closest I've been to acting, yeah. but it really wasn't. Act, like it yeah. was acting but it was yeah it's kind of like I did when you have to go through like a training thing at Publix and there's like one exercise where you have to get up and like improvise like stuff like that and uh, where you go up and you're like one's a customer and you have to like they were like acted out and they like you know acted like we were being actors and stuff like that and I remember sitting there and be like like I was like man like I, I don't want to be doing this because like this is what I actually do for like a living like kind of like not yet but uh I'm getting there and I remember just being like uh like I just can't wait till I get to be on like a movie set for like a couple months and just like work with awesome people and then like a year later I was doing that and I was just like oh praise god man you fested that <laughs> yeah man yeah Manny manifested it yeah. shout out to you Manny yeah shout out to me shout out to all the guys really yeah all the guys man Pleasure working with you. And the next two months, which we can't really talk about, but I'll just leave it at this: like, 
like we just became like like you said a family and we just i think like um i feel i still feel like if they had gone with other people just because the script is so good it, it could have been like a good movie but i think the fact that like they cast like the perfect people and we all just really loved each other like i think it's i think it elevated it to become a great movie it has I, way just, more meaning yeah than uh, a lot of people will know because just behind it, like we're all yeah, like that we're not acting like we actually were yeah. together. I remember like on Martin's last day, before whenever he shot his last scene and he was about to leave in the van, he was like telling us how like how proud he was of us just because like we'd become brothers and that we were looking out for each other. And oh it's yeah. like, and I was like, dang, he's right. Like it's like nuts because we spent every single day together. It, if you go to Waterburger, uh huh. Over, I want to say about a hundred times in a month. <laughs> and I hop and I hop and I hop with a group of guys. <laughs> you are considered family. Yeah, oh, like dude, I remember when we would get off those days where it would be like five a.m. in the morning. You and I would just go to Waterburger and eat burgers yeah, for we breakfast. Went, we went to Waterburger that one morning. We got off work and we uh-huh. went to Waterburger. And my grandma had texted me good morning, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. we haven't even got to go to sleep yet, yeah. and we're getting back from Waterburger. Dude, but like, I remember like shooting those long nights. And just being so happy because I was like, this is the best job on earth, man. I know. I was like, how can anybody complain about this? Because this beats like a lot of stuff. Like, yeah. Because you had worked a lot of jobs previously, right? Yes. Like yeah. mainly like physical labor, right? Yeah, I worked uh, I worked in a feed store there uh-huh. in Santo, Santo Mercantile. I worked there for a couple years. And while doing that, I mean, I helped dad and like my family Mm -hmm. out building fence and working cows and everything and i worked in alaska like you know that's what i grew up doing i grew up like working like on a farm and everything and doing this was so completely different but it was (laughs) so fun and i mean like i don't know you just i don't know if you could beat it i yeah i i like ever since i was a kid like i wanted to be an actor and so uh, I'm trying to remember my first job. I was like uh, a swim coach, and then I mowed lawns for like three years or three summers, and then I I worked at a bookstore for a year, and then I you know worked at a grocery store for a year. And I can tell you like every single day I clocked in, like I was just imagining like I just can't wait to be like on a movie set and like just work that long. Cause I I mean previously Twelve Mighty Orphans, I had worked on I'd worked on two T no wait. No, yeah, two TV shows, and then I'd done a couple movies, like maybe four or five movies, and then two two out of those were pretty big, but like the thing was, I was either on set for like a day or two or three, ma- three max, and there's oh, wow. such a big difference between yeah. being on set for a day to two months where you're like, you're a family, because honestly, as a day player, like I worked on this film called The Friend, and now it's titled Our Friend. And uh, with uh, Jason Siegel, Dakota Johnson, Casey Affleck, and it was supposed to come out this November. I don't know yet, but like I worked one night on that. I worked like uh, a little, a little less than twelve hours on that, and like it's c- and they were, I think they were in a week or two, or maybe just, and maybe four or five days. They were about to wrap, so like it's kind of like you're a stranger and you're joining this family and it's and it's kind it's kind of awkward, but the people are always like nice about it and try to include you. But it's like, man, it just feels weird. It's not the same. It's not the same. So I was like, I can't wait till I'm on set from day one to day, you know, 35, which is what we did for 12 Mighty Orphans. And uh, I just, I can't wait to see it. And it's so challenging to go from working on a set like that to a so, normal not, not normal job. Yeah, you know? it is, like, man. Since then, I've like, I helped a guy like work on a house and I've gone to alaska again Mm -hmm. like super great jobs yeah but it's just not it's not the same it's not the same you know and i kind of like sometimes i feel bad about that but i'm like it's just the truth yeah and i'm just i'm really happy that we've all stayed in touch i mean we i mean it's not like every day we're texting each other or whatever but like you know once in a while we'll somebody will say something in the group message or you know we'll text you know each other individually or call each other me and manny play madden from time to time and you're obviously came and visited me yeah so thank you for doing that and then you're gonna go see one of the other guys after this which is awesome and then i saw slade and preston met up in la yep they and then i feel like jacob Jacob and and levi Levi they met up in LA. la 
So, man, you got to go to L.A. next. Dude, I'm I'm down. You just say when. I'm down, too, man. Well, I, you know, yeah. I got to focus on planning this wedding. No, no, yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah. No. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, man. I couldn't have done it without you. Actually, I could have, but, you know, I didn't want to throw you under the bus. Like I'm going to have to set this microphone down Wait, quick. somebody help. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so, I guess um, I wanted to kind of ask you, when you were on set and stuff, like, did you find any inspiration from, like, films or TVs? Or were you just kind of, like, watching everyone else being like, you know, I'll just take what I can get? You mean, like? Just for, like, inspiration or just, like, because you had never done it before. So yeah. it was, like, it was almost like you were, like, in acting school. Yeah, it was, it was, like, it was... Like acting school, but I think it worked a whole. I think I ain't never been to acting school, but I think it worked out a whole lot better to be able to actually do it yeah. while learning. And like I said the other day, like I'm not lying, like mm. you, because I sat by you, yeah, and uh, I just kept asking you questions. <laughs> I don't know if you got annoyed with dude, me, dude. No, 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 I never got annoyed. I promise. But you. I was like, I looked up to like how you did it because I was like, this guy knows Thanks, what man. he's doing. And yeah, I was still learning stuff on that set too, like. One of the things, one of the really cool things was working with David McFarland, who did, uh, who's the director of photography. Amazing guy. Dude, not only is he an amazing person to be around, but like, dude, the movie's going to look really good. Because he, had, him and Ty just had this vision, and they executed it so well, I think, just from some of the stuff that we've seen. And just from that one picture that that article released. But um, uh, I remember the first day I met him, uh... And I saw Martin Sheen had been cast. I was like, oh, Martin Sheen. I love Martin Sheen. Like, Apocalypse Now is, like, one of my favorite movies. And I love him in Badlands. And Anne, Anne, uh, he, Anne was there, one of the producers. And she was like, oh, you should go meet David because he's, like, obsessed with those movies. And, like, me, I remember going into his office. We talked for, like, 30 minutes just about our favorite movies and stuff. And, like, I was like, you know, I'd love to be a – like, I'd love to, make, like, direct a movie one day. And I remember he was just, like, on set always just, like, I'd ask him a question or someone else, like any of the other guys would ask him a question. He'd be like, well, this is why we're doing this. And this is what like a 180 degree line is. And like, this is the type of millimeter camera or lens that we're using right now. And, you know, and all this different stuff. And it was just really cool to get to like watch someone do that, but also be like, Oh, like, let me show you how. And oh, like yeah. Stuff. He was so cool. He wasn't, and, like, rude about it. No, no, no. He was never, like, stuck up. No, really, any, nobody on set was ever stuck up or anything. No. Everyone was just, like, really nice and just just really laid back and cool. Except for this one guy. I think his name was, like, oh, the Chicken guy, or something. The guy that played Chicken. Yeah. yeah he was a super real jerk. rude guy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. He would just sit in his trailer listening to his yeah. Beethoven. <laughs> yeah, and, like, I'd try to come in there and, like, sit down by him, and he'd be like, I'm sorry. Can you get out? Yeah. <laughs> super rude. I wouldn't say that to you because I don't look people in the face. I have someone else do that for me. I pay somebody to tell people to leave, you know. But, uh, <laughs> no, Woody and I actually shared a trailer, and that was just a lot of fun. Uh, but, all right, okay, he just, he's leaving. <laughs> Woody just got up and left. Uh, but, um, I feel like everyone learned just every single day. And as an actor, like, one of the things that kind of make my motto or whatever is that, like, you just have to constantly learn. If you feel like you know everything, then, like, you're already behind because if you have that attitude in this industry or any industry, like you're just, you're just screwing yourself over. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. I, I totally agree. Like don't go in it with a cocky attitude. Yeah. Stay humble. I mean, you can definitely be confident, but there's a difference between like confidence and like just being like a jerk about it. There at 100%. And I'm just so glad is. that we worked with just a bunch of confident yet humble people at the same time. Working with Luke, just watching him do his thing. I mean, he's he's been in this industry such a long time, probably since he was like my age, and he's just like, he's just so dedicated to his craft and stuff. <laughs> um, and um, Vanessa Shaw was really cool to work with. Super cool, super nice. Yeah, she was super nice because she plays uh, uh, Miss Russell in the film. And uh, she actually had her baby on set. She that, did. Yeah, yes. that was adorable. And her and Luke went, like, they just paired. Yeah, they good. paired, yeah, really well really together. Well. And then so did Luke and Martin Sheen, dude. They had great chemistry. Oh, man. They, they've they got to win something for that because just that, it was so true. Yeah. I like, mean. Everyone on set was re- really just having, I mean, that probably sounds cliche, 
but it's like the truth when you spend that long amount of time with people and you just click it's just like wow but um going into it like what i what was like you're right like what do you, how did you think a movie was made i did not think there was that many angles that you had to redo this <laughs> like keep redoing uh takes or yeah. i think it's what i mean is i didn't realize that they had to move the cameras you redo the scene move the cameras redo the scene yeah. i thought it was just several cameras different area you do that scene and after i figured out that's not how it went that yeah. they actually like you know camera scene move camera scene yeah and, uh i can't look i can't watch a movie the same anymore yeah I couldn't wa- every movie that i watched couple months after that, I was just paying attention to continuity. I was paying attention to <laughs> yeah. how many times they had to do the scene. Was this person moved when the camera moved? Was he still in the same spot? You know, just... Yeah. It was, like, kind of annoying there for a little <laughs> bit. But, yeah. Yeah, what uh, what always makes me, uh, you know, since I've auditioned for so many, like, one-line roles or whatever, prior to that, uh, it was kind of like... And then you watch, like, a movie now... And so, and like, just somebody has a one-line role that's not even main character. You're, I always think, like, man, that person's family, like, probably waited forever to watch that. And then, and then once, like, they said their line or whatever, they were, like, freaking out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, throwing a big old, like, town party. Yeah, yeah, just for that one line that, or That's whatever. what everybody jokes about back <laughs> home. It's like, oh, we're all going to go and watch it. I was like, yeah. man, I'll pay for everybody to watch it, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, dude. It is. Yeah, I'm really hoping, I mean, in that article that I recently spoke about on the last podcast episode and that I shared on my Instagram, you know, we may be waiting a while to see it, but I think it's going to be worth the wait. Oh, yeah, I totally agree. Well worth the wait. Yeah. Um, I just can't wait to see you in it. Like, I'm not lying when I say this, but, like, Woody absolutely crushed it as Leon. Like, you have some of the funniest lines well, you got some pretty funny lines too. Oh uh, yeah, I got yeah, I got some good ones. But like, I th- you're one like legit one of my favorite characters in the movie. And then um, Jacob is Snogs. I think is gonna be really oh, funny. Oh, Snogs well. is Snogs is definitely very yeah. funny. Uh, but thank you, man. <laughs> I'm, welcome, I'm like blushing man. over here. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, no, but. I mean, when the movie comes out, if you pay attention, and a lot of the scenes, we're right by each other. Yeah, we are. I, I didn't want to. I was like, man, Sampling know what he's doing, and I. Just, <laughs> I There's a picture that uh, I think Cody sent me. Cody Cazares. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce the last name. Sorry, Cody, if you're listening, I pronounced it wrong. I apologize. But um, he like sent me a picture on Instagram, and it like the picture is of a monitor, and it's like me and you standing right next to each other. Have I sent that to you? No. I got to send that to you. It's yeah. a pretty good picture. I got my chicken hair going on. Oh, I got and, my little. Yeah, your yeah, your hair going on. Uh Oh man, good times. But um okay, I got to ask you since we're hit, we're hitting on 43 minutes now. Uh I know it flies by when yeah. you do a podcast, man. Um Time flies I was when you're so Woody and I we watched Batman Begins, we watched The Dark Knight, and then we watched The Dark Knight Rises. Those films really uh but uh, you know, I love them. I love them. F- I love them for the rest of my life. I I watch them yearly. My favorite film, one of my favorite films of all time, is The Dark Knight. And that doesn't necessarily mean I think it's the best movie of all time. I don't think you can really say there's the best movie of all time. But that's just my personal favorite, just because that's what inspired me, like to be a filmmaker and and re- be like, oh, I want to like act and stuff. So um, I guess I want you to share your thoughts on the trilogy you know say which one was your favorite which one was your least favorite of the batman yeah sure uh that last one you like the dark knight rises the best dark knight rises because it was like what i find good in a movie is if it makes me hate it (laughs) and then brings me back in where i like it yeah it did that where did it where why did it make it why why did it make you uh hate it there for a second uh what part was it when we were watching it earlier? I was like, I hate this movie. I think there it was, was when she ends up betraying him. Yeah, she Talia ends up Agul. betraying Batman. Yeah. I don't want to like spoil it. If oh, anybody's... the movie's been out since 2012. Yeah, okay. If you haven't watched it. It made a billion dollars. I think a yeah. lot of people have seen it. If you haven't watched it, I'm sorry. I'm about <laughs> but when she betrays Batman. Yeah, Miranda. Just, Miranda Tate ends up being Telly Ogle. He just has a snot knocked out of it, you know. <laughs> I just was like, this movie is not. I don't like it. It's still. I'm still forced to watch it. <laughs> it's simply forced me to watch all of them. But yeah. 
I'm joking. No. <laughs> but well, yeah. I kind of did. No, no. no. <laughs> yes. I'm joking. No, no. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I like didn't like it right then. It wasn't like that. I wanted to quit watching it. It just I didn't. I was like, "Are you kidding me? You really just did that to Batman?" Yeah. <laughs> and then when he comes back, I was like, "All righty, it's acceptable." <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. Uh, I think the reason like my favorite one is The Dark Knight is because it's more of like a crime thriller than like a superhero movie necessarily. I feel like the first and the last one are definitely like superhero movies, like action films, and then I feel like the second one's more like a like a crime th- thriller. I really like how it like talks about like you know, the mob and, like, corrupted politicians and, you know, yeah. corrupted cops and stuff like that. I feel like all that stuff is, like, always relevant I, <laughs> throughout I, our time. I definitely think the acting in the second one's probably the best. The best, yeah. Yeah, because Heath Ledger's performance is yeah. just off the wall. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, let me ask you this. Uh, if you could if you could work with any actor, let's do, if you could work with any actor and then pick an actress and then p- pick a director, like, who would you work with? Like, who would you be most excited to work with? That's alive. That's alive, yeah, yes. You yeah, can't sorry. choose any. Yeah, you can't choose Jimmy Stewart or John <laughs> Wayne. They're dead, buddy. Um, I'm going to have to say The Rock. The Rock. Dude, he he yeah. seems like a really cool guy. He's from the University of Miami. So, really? Yeah, he's a U. Yeah, he's a cool guy, man. Like, I've heard stuff about him, and I just like, yeah, that'd be cool to have work with Have you ever seen him. Walking Tall? No. It's a film that he did with Johnny Knoxville. Um, and it's he's the sheriff of this small town, and it's actually a pretty good movie. Um, oh, have you ever seen the rundown with him and um, Sean something? And it's like a comedy action movie. That's Sean Hannity. No, <laughs> no, no. Um, Sean, I gotta, I'm gonna look it up. It's like a fun action comedy. Christopher Walken is actually the bad guy in it. Um, uh, I'm trying to think, but yeah, I would love to work with the two. He's a. He has been such a successful act for, actor oh, yeah. for the Hot, longest super time. Super hard worker. Like, he's doing stuff all the time. Sean William Scott. That's Sean who it William is. Sean William Scott. Like, it's a fun comedy movie. Like, it's definitely silly, but, like, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but um, what about an actress? Actress. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, I think. I think. No, no. It it'd be between Scarlett Johansson and that girl that we just watched that was on The Princess Diaries. And oh, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. She's a great actress. Or yeah. Scarlett Johansson. I think those are good picks. Um, it'd be it. It just had to be a draw or Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. What about a uh, director? Director? I don't know a lot of directors. That's okay. Um, um, for actor for me, it probably I would probably love to work with Christian Bale. Ryan Gosling. Those are like two of my oh, favorite guys. Yeah. Um, and then actress. I'm a really big fan of Amy Adams and Natalie Portman. Um, and then director. I would love to work with Christopher Nolan or Terrence Malick or uh, Greta Gerwig. I actually sent a letter to. I try. I sent like I found like her assistant's. Or I'm trying to remember. It was like her assistant's, like email or address or something like that. Like their like work address. And I like sent a letter. Like she did, she directed Lady Bird and then Little Women, which came out last oh, year. Yeah, just because yeah, I was yeah. like, uh, she she's she's such a great director, and plus like the some so far what I've seen, she tends to be directing films with our age group in mind. So I was like, dang, I'd love to work with her. And then Damien Chazelle, I would also love to work with. But um, okay, if you could pick anyone that's not alive, who would you pick, actor and actress? I think you already know the answer. John Wayne. John Wayne <laughs> as the <laughs> yeah. actor. Um. And, of course, as the director, I'm going to go with John Ford. John Ford? Oh, dude, yeah. Yes. He has a bunch of great films. He has a hands-down, handful, amazing yeah. films. And he he got John Wayne started. Did he really? I didn't know that. Because I think John Wayne was like a extra. In, in one of his films? In one of his films. Oh, wow. And John Ford like just picked him out. I could be wrong with this. Don't get mad at me, but John yeah. Ford Solomon was like, okay, yes, you. he and he started pretty late into his life. Yes. What's funny about acting is, um, I used to, um, or I'm trying to remember where was it? No, no, no. I I, I teach acting, and I went to this. I went to the Space and Rocket Center here, and we were doing like we were promoting like a camp we were doing, and this one guy like came up to me, 
and he was like in his 30s and he was like oh this is an acting camp i was like yes sir it's for like kids and stuff but we also have adult classes he was like man i wish i could start acting but like i'm too old or whatever and i was like i was like well sir like who do you see on tv most of the time in like movies like it's 20 to 30 year olds or yeah it's any age group like even 60 year olds can be movie stars he was like well i guess so and i was like it doesn't matter if you know you're in shape or out of shape or you know if you're perfectly healthy or disabled or whatever like you can be in movies like there's parts out there for anyone and so i think that's one of the things that sometimes people think so it's never too late to start acting like morgan freeman didn't get really uh too big until like his like late 30s or early 40s yeah i think same with samuel L. jackson samuel L. jackson yeah and they like everyone knows their names you know what i mean yeah and The Rock didn't start acting until he uh, did wrestling because he was in the WWE yeah, he, for a while. I think his daughter's doing that now. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. That's pretty funny. Uh, uh, let's see how much. Oh, we hit 50 minutes. Not bad, man. Oh, uh, another actor I'd like okay. to work with that's still alive is Sam, uh, Sam Elliott. Sam, oh, yeah. yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. He seems like he'd be a fun guy. Oh, too. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's man, him in the Sackets. Have you ever seen the Sackets? I've never seen that, though. He did. Yeah. He was just actually nominated for an Oscar two years ago for Star is Born. Did you ever see that with him and Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga? No. He plays Bradley Cooper's older brother, and he, like, crushed it, man. Dang, I like The Ranch on Netflix. Oh, yeah, him and Ashton Kutcher, Such a good job in that. Yeah, him and Ashton Kutcher. Um, I forget what I was... Oh, yeah, actress. Uh Uh-huh. I think I'd like to work with uh, Maureen O'Hare. Okay. Or uh, Marlon Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn, yeah, that'd not be, Marlon. Yeah. yeah, Marin. I'd probably go with Grace Kelly was a great actress. And I'm trying to think who else. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of who else. I'm trying to think of like some smaller supporting actors that like never get any. Oh, Harry Dean Stanton would have been really cool to work with. He recently passed away. A couple, well, not recently, but a couple years back. Um, I'm trying to think who else would be really cool that's still not a lot or not not living anymore. Uh, oh, dude, I can't believe uh we didn't mention this, but we also got to work and meet with uh Robert Duvall. We did, yes. yeah. The crazy thing is, they told us not to talk to him, and I kind of think, what if they just told us not to talk to him because he's gonna be grump? They told us because he's grumpy or something like that. Uh-huh. What if they told us that that way we didn't bother him, but he actually wasn't grumpy? They just didn't want us to chase him off. Uh, maybe, maybe so. <laughs> maybe so. I don't know. No, no, he was so nice too. Yeah, I remember we all met him. He like shook all of our hands back when we could shake people's hands. Yeah, <laughs> we couldn't. We didn't Prehistoric have to look times. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but um, and we were. I think we started talking about the national championship or something with him. But yeah, he was just laid back and really cool. I just. I was kind of just in awe. I couldn't believe that that was him. Just because, I mean, he was in the Godfather films. and uh, He was also in Apocalypse Now with Martin Sheen. Yes, and, he was. He was. And Tender Mercies. And, uh, I mean, you could just keep going. Oh, Secondhand Lions. Him and Michael Caine. Oh, yes, Secondhand Lions. Amazing film. That's an underrated film. Yeah, it is. Um, it has the guy that's in Sweet Home Alabama. Uh, and it, the Jake in Sweet Home Alabama. Josh Lucas, or let's see, because is that the one with Reese Witherspoon? Yes, or sorry, I'm sorry. No, he's looking up on his phone right now. Sweet home. That commercial break. <laughs> no, it's Jeopardy music, man. Oh, it took me to the Oh, song. that's so sweet. I got a Snapchat from a Slade. He said, I told him we were doing a podcast, and he said, speak lots of words for me. Shout out to uh, Slade Monroe. Uh, may his soul rest in peace. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John Lucas. Josh Lucas. Josh Lucas. I actually, He was on Space Warriors, and actually uh, got to meet him. Really? Yeah. Like, oh, just, man. Super cool. I was, I was like around him a lot, but I only got to meet him once, and he was a really nice guy. I was like so nervous. Like That was like the first like <laughs> actor I ever like got to meet face-to-face and like shake his hand and stuff. He was really cool, though. 
Lonesome Dove is the Robert Duvall That's movie. That's right. I yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to think of that one. I named my dog Gus because in the movie you got Woodrow and Gus. So oh, I named yeah. my dog Gus that way, Woodrow and Gus. That's awesome. Were you named after Woodrow Wilson, by the way? No. A Where lot of people think I'm either named after Wilson or in Lonesome Dove. No, I'm named after one of my dad's best friends. Oh, okay. Um, and he's possibly he's, your real father. No, I'm just no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sam. Uh, Sam Woodrow? Was yeah, that his name? Sam Woodrow. No, Sam no, no. Woodrow? Oh. Sam's father was named Woodrow. Yeah. And it's Sam Ballinger. Oh, wow. Yeah. No. Yes. What? No. I don't know. What? He's your friend, not mine. Or your dad's friend, not mine. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. Have you, did, had you ever heard the name Sampley before? No, before I him? haven't ever heard the name Sampley. I've only met one person in my life who has known another Sampley because um, it was uh, one of my coworkers and someone was like, Sampley, where does that name come from? That's such a weird name. And one of the, the other guy that was talking to us, he was like, what do you mean that's a weird name? And she was like, I've never heard that before. He was like, oh, I, I used to live in, I think he used to live in Austin, Texas. He was like, I had a buddy named Sampley over there. Really? I was like, really? He I, was like, well, he was like, well, it was his last name, but we all called him that. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I think Sam was a common last name. Sam Adams. People. Sorry. Sam Adams. Oh. Sam Adams, not Sam Ballinger. Is Carson, it's Carson Ballinger. I don't even know what you were talking about, but I'm just going to laugh and say hi, yeah. The guy is just talking about the Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, His Sorry, father okay. is Woodrow. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. So no, Sam it's Blake. okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> um... Sorry about that. No, you're good. So after showing you the Dark Knight trilogy, are you going to try to check out the rest of uh, Kristen, Christopher Nolan's films? Yes. Yeah, you have to. I, mean, I think you'd... Oh, did you like that the Tenant trailer I showed you? Oh, man, looks so good. And then you showed me that they were having to film the fight scenes backwards. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like in replay. So, like, yeah, David Washington, like, it was a little behind the scenes. They posted on their Instagram where, like, he's... He's not training. He were, he's training to fight, but he's training to do it like backwards because that's how the film is. I don't even know how you would go about figuring that out, but uh, like that's that that's harder than it sounds. You guys should go check it out on. I think Warner Brothers posted it on their Instagram. I'm really excited to see it. You got um, me excited to see it. Got me pumped. Man. I saw I saw the other day since it's it's released in like I think it's already come out in like California and then some in like some, uh, London possibly. So I saw the other day that a lot of people are taking flights to go out to see it because they're that excited. I'm just gonna really? wait until it comes here in Alabama. If it doesn't come here in Alabama, then I'll probably go see if I can see it in Georgia or uh, Tennessee, just because I, I'm I got to see that movie in theaters. Um, but we're coming up on an hour. Before we end, Woody, would you like to say anything? Would you? Like to say anything to the viewers at all before we head out? Um, what's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little uh, too late for that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What's up, guys? I uh, hope you liked it. You yeah, know? I hope you like listening to us and our stories. Uh, if you did not, then um, I'm, we're not, we're not going to be doing another one because Woody's got to leave. Shout out to the guys in Alaska because I I told I'm they I told them I was like, hey, listen up. Oh really? Yeah, so we might get some listeners in Alaska. That'd yeah, be pretty cool. That'd be awesome. And uh <laughs> sorry, am I allowed to do a lot of shout outs? You can do as many shout outs as because, you want. Because uh I figured there's gonna be a group of teachers listening to this <laughs> from mom in their uh their teacher room. Yeah, I need all the viewers I can get, man. <laughs> shout out to Pops, Dad, at the county. Yeah. Calvin, Michelle, Tyler. Okay. Grandma, Juma, you met Grandma. Yeah, 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 yeah. So nice. At Razoo's. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, so sweet. Man, we were always hanging out. We were, man. We that's wrote like, songs together. Yeah, we have that necklace that, like, when you put it together, it, it magnetizes and yeah, then it attach. magnetizes <laughs> and like we got matching tattoos. We do. We should like, actually. We should get one. I remember Preston. He wanted to give us all tattoos. He, he wanted, wanted to put a twelve on all of us, didn't he? I was like, I'm not in prison yet. I'm yeah, not getting a homemade <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> I didn't want to get one just because, like, I'm a chicken. Yeah. Get it? I, I'm, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, your name is Chicken Dick. Uh, no, I'm not a big uh, tattoo. Yeah, I think guy. they look cool on other people. But yeah, super I'm, cool until they get old and yeah, ugh, pinkly. Yeah. But I know uh, some people with some pretty cool tattoos. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I know that, I mean, I don't I don't know. I just won't probably ever get one. No. Uh, but, hey, that's been the podcast. Thank you so much for listening to the Once Upon a Time in Huntsville podcast. If you really like listening to this, to this podcast, feel free to 
um, subscribe, throw uh, some money a month from as much as one cent to uh, $10 or however much you want to give if you're willing. Um, if you ever want us to talk about a specific uh, topic, just feel free to reach out to me. Um, and uh, just be looking out for Woody in the upcoming film, 12 Mighty Orphans, directed by Ty Roberts, produced by Lane Garrison, Houston Hill, and Hill, and so many others. Uh, just amazing people. Michael Del Luca. Um, Woody, I think this has been the podcast. All righty. Thank you for having me in it, man. I really do appreciate it. All right. Uh, goodbye. Hey guys, Sam Plaveranaga here, and I'm going to tell you why I use Anchor for my podcast, and it's simple, because it's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer or tablet, whatever the heck you're using. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on places like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, and you can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Do it or else we're going to have a problem. And I don't want to have a problem with you.